Hey, and welcome to Biblecraft. My name is Abe, and we are going to look at a program called Org Rome, which is a Emacs package that looks a lot like this uh, application called Rome, which a lot of researchers use to do their research. It seems very promising uh, to use when studying uh, the Bible or anything else, and I want to show you how it looks today. So let's jump into uh, Space Max, as you can see here, we've got Luke chapter 3. We've been looking at Luke chapter 3. It's just as a demo to show how this thing works. So what I'm doing is show, thinking through how it compares to something like Zettelef, which was what I am using. But I'm also going to incorporate some features of uh, Org Mode, or uh, uh, Org Roam, and Zettelef to kind of work together. I want to show you how this works. The main awesome feature of Org Roam is this idea of having backlinks. And what that does is is when you open up org Rome, it is going to show you where across all of your files where other files are linked to this note not where this note links to other files but where files are linking to this note so for instance um the word of god coming to prophets that one is so the one of the word of god coming to prophets is right here and uh this note or this backlink exists not because of this note here but when I click when I um, open this up the reason why this or go back here the reason why this note about the word of prophets is, exists is because I have Luke chapter 3 linked in this file not this file but in this file and when I click here the reason why Luke 3 exists is because I have it linked here so you see how that works? And so when you have a note like this uh, Word of God coming to the prophets that has a lot of different uh, other notes that are linked to it, I've gone into each of these ones and I've created this link here. That's why it exists. You can kind of, you can see not just the what's linked to it, but also what's inside that note as far as where that note is, where that link is in the buffer or file and what is on that buffer line. So for instance, each one of these shows you what I'm talking about as far as here is a uh, Joel 1 verse 1, uh, Jonah 1 verse 1, uh, Micah 1 verse 1, and all of these are in here. And my point about this is, is anytime a prophet is called in the Old Testament, this line being used is a word of come where the uh, word of the Lord comes upon so and so, the word of Yahweh comes upon so and so. And to me, that is a nice feature to have. And so when you go to Luke, what does it say here? Um, the word of God came to John to kind of show John is very much like uh, the old prophets as far as the way he's introduced here. So it seems to be what Luke is doing. That's my note. And that's what I'm looking at here. So I've got that link there built up. And I can quickly see that by just coming over here and reading through these notes and going, oh, okay, I see what that says. Then I can go back here and close this out. So that's what's the really sweet feature of Org Rome does. But to me, it gets that backlink creates other new ways of doing things. So for instance, I was making a way to do notes as far as the Zettelef way would be in this file. Just hit ministry and throw that in there. And then there's my note like that. But instead of doing it this way, the way that Org Rome would have you do it is instead to insert a file and word of the prophet, but uh, the word, I think, yeah, ministry. So this is a find files with the command that I'm using. But when I'm using that particular command to find that file, it creates, it inserts a file. But this file isn't an actual file. It can be at some point, but what it functions as right now is a tag. And so when I open this folder, it again shows me where this ministry file is uh, linked to in other files. And the only one right here is this uh, one here. But I know that this is a tag I'll probably use other uh, later on because a tag that'll go, okay, I want to think about ministry and want to tag these files and figure out where they go. So I like that about it. And that's basic, uh, the gist of how Org Rome works. Now there's um, using Zettelkasten, the Zettelkasten system to kind of develop that and to work through it and create your tags, create your hub notes. Um, all the while, I believe this uh, backlinks log there is going to help you tremendously. Now, how does it differ um, from Zettelef? And there's some differences that might uh, come your way. Well, there are a few things that are different about it. For instance, when I search like I was with, um, let's just do find file for now. When I search in org Rome, it is not searching file names. It is searching 
the title inside each file. And that's nice. It's a lot uh, easier on the eyes to look through what exactly you're looking for. But the drawback is, is let's see, I go to Luke, you know, three or L U K, what the actual file name would be. It is actually doesn't show you that file name. And so you're going to have to um, type out Luke. Um, and even if you do chapter three, I mean, it, it's not until you type out Luke chapter three will it highlight the note that you already have, which isn't very fast. So if I were to do Luke 3 right now, what it's going to do is it's just going to create a new note. And it uses or capture to create new notes like this. So in this uh, Luke 3, I can make an, a comment about Luke 3 or whatever, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not really messing with this. And then I hit CC to finish that note and it saves it. And then I'm in that note there. To me, that's not as fast as Zettledef. I hit space DO and I hit LUK. And it's not gonna actually create any new notes because the, I guess it could create one going up there, but um, right there, it already highlights it very nicely. And I hit enter and then boom, right there. I'm back to Luke chapter three. I like that about that better. Um, now, the, the drawback I kind of saw is, well, what if you want to change a file name? You know, org uh, or zettledeft, it doesn't really view the file names, but rather it looks at the uh, ID marker. Well, with org Rome, it actually has its own unique file uh, IDs on the front of each one. But in addition to that, it has, when you change a file name, it'll go back and change all the instances where that file is uh, linked and it'll just change the name. So let's demo that. And I've demoed it a couple of times. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to restart the database thingy, but um, I'm probably doing something wrong here. All right, Tiberius Caesar. So here's the file name, that's the file uh, title. Now let's say I wanna rename it. Now with space max, you can hit space F, uh, capital R, and you can rename the file, but it doesn't give you any of the information about what the file was named beforehand. So I don't actually like that at all. D uh, Zettledeft rename has space dr and it actually shows you the file name and I, I think it's fantastic because uh, what if it's uh, you don't want to have to type out the whole thing you just want to change an ending or change a section so Caesar and then I'm just going to type in changed here's the new file name now the old way would be that right uh, here it would change the file um, to or it wouldn't change it actually would this this link would be broken but it's saying, hey, um, this file's been changed on the disk. Do you want to change it? Yes, I do. And then, see, I did break it. But <laughs> what happened is right here, uh, I knew I was going to break that. But what's supposed to happen is uh, what, it, what it ended up doing is just creating two different files with a new file name. But what, I, what I'll do is um, if I restart Emacs and do this again, it, it'll work. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick all right we're back all right um so i just redid it and the thing what i did was to, to fix this is in org mo or uh it's uh this this command here this uh rome org rome db database build cache um, it, it takes a, like a minute or two or a little bit to, to redo all of that. Um, if you want to do clear it before and then build it again, it'll just rebuild the database to where it'll work just fine. So going back to this now, um, nice that I nice that it did break so I can kind of show you how I to fix that. Then you just rename it and then I'm just going to put changed again. Hit enter. Oh, I've got to reread it again. Uh, so Luke 3 is needs to be reread. So okay, reread it. And then oh, look at it did it again. Good night. So <laughs> what it did, oh boy. So it just worked for me. I just demoed it right before I started recording in the meantime. But uh, what it does is, and I'm not gonna show you it again because I'm not gonna waste too much time here. What it did was, was that notice I changed it to, what was the name again? Um, well, there it is. There is a, uh, see, it used to be just changed or, cha or just Tiberius Caesar, but now, I didn't add this extra link, but when I click it, it goes right here. It's a title called Tiberius Caesar. So um, that's the nice thing about it. It's, you're not going to be changing notes all that much, but it doesn't like delete your note accidentally. It'll just create a new, f a new file name, and, and that's about it. So uh, you just have to figure that one out. 
but I like that and I think it's really cool that it renames files that easily. So um, those are the main things that I wanted to show about Org Rome as far as what it looks like when you're using it. I seriously, I'm gonna take off the uh, command buffer for right now. Um, I seriously like the fact that with this, you can have your, um, your text open, the main thing you're looking at. You can have your buffer open here and as you're looking at some of these things, you can just open these up on the side and uh, work through that. I think that that is a sweet way of, to me, studying uh, the Bible and, and, and creating notes, um, as well as the tag system is really nice. It's a lot, to me, it seems very clean using Org Rome. All right, well, that's about it for this video. Is there anything uh, else that you're interested in looking at uh, Org Rome? If so, I would encourage you to check out the uh, docs page and uh, get yourself familiar with it and start using it or experimenting with it to see if this is something you want to use on a more permanent basis. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.